evening. Uh, we have we left Carnarvon today and we came up to Three Mile uh, on Nalu Station. Uh, we had this one booked so we did, because we got held up with the starter motor in Carnarvon a little longer than we planned, we did have to skip the Quabba area and come all the way up here for our booking. But that's okay, we're going to go back that way and show you those um, next. Um, we literally got here, we knew some people that were here, um, Van Roman, we've talked about them before. Um, plus a couple of other families we've met in the last couple of weeks as well and so we literally dumped the van, unhitched, uh, opened the windows and went and hung out at the beach for the afternoon. <laughs> um, so we, I thought I'd quickly tell you where we are um, and check out the sunset. It's so beautiful. I'll um, hopefully capture some more of that for you tomorrow and um, yeah, show you more around, more of the camp and stuff, but um, we're pretty much done. Spent the afternoon at the beach and now it's dinner and all the usual. Um, we haven't even set up, look, this is as far as we got. We put the mat out. <laughs> so um, yeah, so we've got to get all that stuff. So yeah, um, we'll just do all the jobs for the afternoon. So we'll catch you tomorrow. flying out on. A million flies. <laughs> million flies. <laughs> We're at uh, Naralu three mile and yeah there's a lot of flies and I got a spanner because I've been doing mechanical work on the truck again. And why is that? <laughs> <laughs> well we got here yesterday, we drove here yesterday, it was fine and then it the wouldn't. The starter motor started. The starter motor started and then it wouldn't start after we got here and I was like far out. But it didn't? It didn't make the click, click. sound yeah. so I was like all right there's probably battery something battery loaded or something and then also our 12 volt system in the back our house batteries weren't working either that was our fridge and they need like a working connect 12 volt battery in the the main battery to be like okay so um yeah i tried doing a few things last night and just didn't didn't get it worked out may have had a pinna collider or something before a large one so it wasn't uh, oh, my, at my sharpest <laughs> Um, and so today, this morning's mission was to fix it, figure it all out. And I'll just show you the fuse box here on the Iveco. This is on the main battery terminal, the main battery fuses. So there's a few different poles here. And then there's also this fuse across here. I'll show you that runs across there. And so we've got things coming off it like, we've got our winch cable. Uh, winch power coming off one end of that fuse and on the other end of it is the house batteries coming in, the starter motor coming off. Uh, yeah, and so I was checking it electrically and it like had no resistance. I don't know if you know about electrics at all, but it had no resistance. So that's what a fuse is meant to have, no resistance. Um, but then when I had it connected in and we were trying to pass power through it, it wasn't uh, allowing any power through. So it kind of tricked me, it's a bit intermittent, like only stops working under load. Um, so I've now removed this 500 amp fuse from the system and we've connected everything up straight to the battery alternatively. Uh, and the whole truck's working. So this little fuse, 500 amp fuse, not little, big fuse, appears to be the problem with our starting. And it's like so intermittent, I think when it heats up, it um, stops working. So. I might crack it open and have a look inside it actually, just out of interest sake, and see if there's anything corroded in there or something. So we've had this starting issue, we've had this like hot, seem to not start after heat ever since um, like Uluru Mount and stuff, Isa. Mount Isa when we're getting out back kind of Queensland, out back NT in really hot days and we'd drive for a bit and we'd have to stop, let it and we'd stop for lunch, let it cool down and it would be like an hour and then we could start it again. Um, and we couldn't pinpoint, we tried so many different things, we couldn't pinpoint what it was. And at one point, Daniel, you did turn off and disconnect the winch. Yeah. And that seemed to solve it for a little while. Because yeah. we thought it was maybe a dodgy connection with the winch changing earths or something. Um, but then it started again when we are back in warm temperatures and under load again. So, yeah. Um, hopefully this is the problem. Yeah. Problem solved. It's probably like a 10 year old fuse now. It's like a 2012 model truck, and so it's probably 10 years old. Could be old. the original, yeah. It's probably the original fuse and just giving up a ghost. Really, we're like, what on earth? We don't really know what's going on here. So, well done, Daniel. Oh, is he going to double check that it starts again? Okay. 
There we go. Yep. So, uh, wasn't the starter motor at all. We're having issues with other things. <laughs> We've come down to the beach for a swim and a snorkel. So let's go underwater. We've heard it's fantastic here. There's a small little reef area. Um, and the, apparently the life under the water is amazing. So let's go. Epic. The best life we've seen so far since camp, I think. So that was awesome. Definitely pop the snorkels in um, if you're coming here. Um, make sure you check if you're like tired and your wind and stuff because it was really hectic earlier this morning. So um, we didn't go out, but it's definitely calmed down this afternoon. It was awesome. So um, yeah, fantastic. Um, we are going to chill out and watch the sunset. Not sure what's for dinner. I haven't even worked it out yet, but it'll work itself out. Let's see what sunset does tonight. Good morning. We have taken a drive to Nalu Bay and uh, to have a sticky beak because we extended for a night. <laughs> we um, we only had two nights booked but we asked if they had anyone coming into the site um, that we're on tonight and he said no so we just extended because why not we can. Uh, it's not often we can on the WA coast <laughs> uh. so we're taking that as, an, as a good thing and yeah took a drive down here it's gorgeous. Um, and we've just had a sticky break and we're going to head back, grab our snorkeling gear Stop doing that and go for a quick snorkel. Me. We just had a chat to some people that came back in just then and I said it's gorgeous, so let's do it. We're at the beach today and I decided it's cocktail time so we brought everything down to the beach with us today and I'm going to make a guava, pineapple and orange beautiful delicious cocktail. So got our blender plugged into our 240 volt which is really easy. Some uh, triple stack. Got some ice. What else do you think we need? What else do you reckon? Pineapple! Some <laughs> normal vodka. Do you do rum? Oh, anything. You like rum? <laughs> Uh, 
check out the fridge. I'm sure you guys have seen it before, but so this uh Aloha blend from Moody. Hey, yeah. And then I got some Bundaberg guava soft drink, which is really nice. So put it all in together. Blend the lid on. Do you want a non-alcoholic a mocktail area? <laughs> Can you just come around the side? Okay. Thank you. Traveler's cocktail. Drink it because we got to we got to empty this so we can make a mocktail for the kids. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Swim, snorkel, cocktails, chats with good people, sunset photography. All in one spot. What a night. <laughs> what a day. Uh, so yeah, we've just been hanging out at the beach here this afternoon. We day? thought the cloud was uh, too thick, but then there's a gap and the sun's popped underneath and lit it up into mere pinkness. Hopefully this photo turns out. If not, it's been an awesome afternoon here at Three Mile Cap. We had a fantastic stay here at Nali Station Three Mile Camp. It is about $50 a night for two adults to stay unpowered. There's no water, uh, amenities are available, and you can fit all size rooms. The road in is quite a long way, dirt corrugation, and you do have to go back the same way. However, the snorkeling was brilliant. On to the next adventure. As promised, we've stopped in at the Quabba Boat Holes. There's a nice big car park area. There's even a tucker box uh, food truck if you wanted to grab something to eat.
Blow Hills Campground just reopened. They had seven days closed, so I don't know, fix the roads or something. Was like a moss just moss. Up in there. <laughs> um, yeah, it's um, pretty nice. It's eleven dollars per person a night. We've got a view out the window of the ocean, which is good. There's great snorkeling just here, apparently. Um, there are a shed load of flies. Hence why we're inside. <laughs> like, literally cannot do anything outside. So we're just going to put our fly net hat on, hats on and walk down and go for a snorkel and then put our fly net hats on, come back, go inside, the, sit inside the caravan and then with the fly mesh closed. We might try out my fly <laughs> idea outside, maybe. Yeah, we'll give it a go, but yeah. they're really bad here. Yeah. Like, even worse than Narua, and that was pretty bad. Yeah. Um, you get nothing when you get here, either. Like, it's fully off-grid stuff, so, like, for your, um, you got to come with everything, like your water and everything. Um, there are a dump, there's a dump point at the entrance. Yeah, there is a dump point at the entrance, um, but that's about it. So, um, yeah, and it's kind of just pick your own spot wherever you're happy. Um, and if you drive along the road, there's a sign that says long vehicle turnaround area ahead and then there's an you drive along a bit more and then there's a sign saying no long vehicle turnaround so you can go all that way to look for sites as well and then as soon as you get to that no vehicle sign make sure you turn around there obviously That is us done here at Corba Blowholes Camp. Um, has a bit of a stigma to it, um, being spooky and stuff. Um, the area we camped in, which is like right near the aquarium day use area, was fine. Um, down a bit further where the shacks are and stuff, I can get, I can see why it might feel a bit uncomfortable um, for some people, but for us, we didn't get that at all. Um, and we just, we did know, um, do know that they have actually been asked to demolish those shacks so that things will be changing around here um, over the next little while so uh, yeah see how see what you think when you get here um, $11 a night book online per person if I haven't said that already um, dump point toilets are here um, easy access to the beach um, and yeah everyone was was a super quiet camp for considering it was a Saturday um, and yeah we're just doing the one night we don't need to stay any longer um, too many flies here to be honest and um, yeah we've got things we've got to get done so we are heading back to Carnarvon for a quick restock of some groceries a bit of washing that kind of thing and then we are heading north so we see we will see you a bit further north um, from here <laughs> 